Today I'm going to show you how to organize your school applications using Notion. If you want to learn how I actually pick these nursing schools, feel free to watch the video that I'll link in the top right corner of this video. Anyway, let's get started. Before I go over each section in detail, I want to give you an overview of what this is all about. This is what the template looks like when you download it using the link in the description box below. This template gives you a bird's eye view of all of the nursing schools and application status of each school. This template has sections for things like intake date, application date, prerequisite courses, other required elements, length of the program, check mark boxes so you can keep yourself really organized, and etc. Now at the top of the page on the left side is where you put your degree name or program name. So for this video, I'm just going to put in BSN application fall 2022, and you can go and change the emoji as well if you want to customize it. Below the name of the program are two pages I added in. The first one is the application master task list. This is going to be a page of all of the tasks you need to do for your application. If you go add any tasks to this list, it'll be reflected to the task list on the main page. The second page is an information page with anything I thought was important to know for one of my tests that I had to do to get into nursing school. Now below the two pages is the list of all of the schools that you're applying to. You can change the name to your school's name when you get the template and also change the emoji as well. I will go through this table in detail in just a little bit. And lastly, we have the list of upcoming tasks that you need to do for each application. This this list is actually set to show tasks that are due within the next month and this list is directly linked to that application master task list that I showed you earlier in the video and I'll go over all of this in detail in a little bit. Last thing I'll mention about the list of tasks, you can actually change it between list view or calendar view. So if you're more of a visual person and you prefer looking at a calendar, then you can just use the calendar view instead. So let's start with the master task list for your nursing school applications. So just click on that and this is where you will enter all of your tasks that you need to do for each application with specific due dates. Now this list can consist of anything from application deadlines, advisor meetings, maybe you want to put some information about fees or a reminder to write an email to the school, etc. Once you're done task, you can just tick it off on the left side of the table. Now, starting from the left side of the table, we have the status of the task, the school's name, name of the task, due date for the task, type of task, and lastly, a note section. This table can also change views to certain schools and its tasks. It can also show you a calendar view if that's what you prefer. Or if you want to see by task type, then you can go to the task type view and it'll show you the grouped tasks. Now I'm going to go and create an example so you know how to create your own school's name in the master task list. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the school column and enter in your school's name. You can also customize the color of the school. You can also do the same thing for the task types. You can enter your own tasks in as well and also change the color to whatever you want. If you want to add an additional school to the table, then you can do so by going to the table section, add a view, and then click on table view. And after creating a new school list, you'll actually see that the table is not organized and filtered to that specific school you just added. So all you need to do is you need to go to the top right corner of the table, click on those three dots, and then click on filter, click on add a filter, and then make sure to pick the school name that you just created. That should filter all the tasks to the school that you just created. Now I will show you the application information table, which is probably my favorite part of this template. The first thing you want to do when you go through this template is probably change the name of each of the school on that list. So I will actually go through an example school so you can see how you can do that click on one of the schools from the list. I just changed the name to Harvard and you're going to open it up as a page. And then once you're in the page, you can go down the list I created for you. So the first is what intake you are applying for, the due date of your application, and if you know when you've been notified by the school regarding your application status, you could put that date range in there as well. Next, you can go to the prerequisite section, which is just underneath, and go and enter in all the prerequisite courses that are required for this particular school. Underneath that is the other requirements section, so you can go and put things in like certificates you may require to apply for the program, interview, essay, and next is the length of the program. You can put how long the program is by putting in the number of years or months in there. 
You can also put in the seats that are available in the program for that cohort if you have that information available to you. The next are three checkmark boxes you can tick off. So the first one is for advisor. You can tick that off if you have already met with the advisor. Second is for transcripts. So if the transcripts have been sent already to the school. And the third one is for criminal record check. You can tick that off if you have already applied for it and it's already being processed to be sent to the school. I found that really helpful for me, uh, especially when I had so many applications going on. Of course, if you're not applying to nursing school or you don't need to do that for your school, then you could just delete it from this list if you don't want to use that. You can also put in the address of the school in this field here. So I found this very useful when I had to put down each school's mailing address instead of googling their address every single time. This section here is to add any important files. So uh, you may want to have copies of your transcripts for each school in here, maybe screenshots of emails that you want to refer to. Same applies for notes put anything that is important to you in there. And the last part is you can use the advantages and disadvantages section to really compare schools when you're making your list and deciding which ones you want to apply to or go to. Okay, so underneath all of that, I've included things like advisor information or any important contact information when applying to the school. You can also put your student ID in this section. So whenever you're logging into the school's website when applying, you can easily refer back to it here. And this was so useful to have instead of trying to find it every single time. I've also added in a section where you can put in the actual program website. You can do that by clicking on that button that says add a web bookmark and you can just add in the website link there. This last part of the notes is where you can add in other details. So the first section is the requirement details and checklist. If you click on this a triangle that you see there, it'll untoggle and show you all the details. You can put in information about the grade that they require for each prerequisite and then put in your grade that you received for that prerequisite. Afterwards, you can go and use that check mark box and tick it off when you're done the course. Same thing for the post-secondary prerequisite course section. For the other requirements section are any additional requirements you may want to put in as well. The second section is the application process section. You can put your GPA information here, anything that you think is relevant for work and volunteer experience. Maybe you can put in jobs or volunteer positions that you may want to apply to. For the application essay part, maybe you want to outline all the things that you want to mention in your application essay. And lastly, for the interview part, maybe some things that you may want to bring up and you can start practicing. The last section of the notes section is the event and meeting notes. Now I use this very extensively when I was going through my application process. This is where I recorded all of my meetings, my calls with people. So if I received an email from a school, then I would go and take the screenshot of the email and put the date when I received it. I would put it in the actual notes section. It was a really great way for me to keep track of everything because I didn't have to go through all of my emails to look for specific information. I'm gonna show you another thing from the main page. So let's go back to the main page and I've actually created a new school template here that you can just go and use if you want to add any more schools to your list. So if you want to go and edit the template, go and click on this edit button. You can change the headers or anything else you wanna change. So after you make all of your changes, and you create a new school using the edited template, your changes will appear. A great thing about this entire template is that you can change the way you want to and customize it to your own needs, even if it's for a different program or even scholarships or job applications. If you do decide to use it, please let me know in the comments below how you liked it. And again, I will leave the link to the template in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.